Good afternoon and welcome to my Backgammon channel. Today we are going to do a lesson on match equity and Neil's numbers. Now, this lesson is particularly useful for those of you who are currently intermediate players but are looking to move towards an advanced or expert level. So let's get started. Now, firstly, what do we mean by MET? Now, the MET refers to the match equity table. This was created by Neil Kazaros and is available to view on XG, the backgammon software. And this table, as you can see before you, shows your percentage, your likelihood of winning the match at different match scores. So obviously, if your percentage is higher, you have a greater likelihood of winning the match, depending on where you are within the match, at what score you are. So if we look at the numbers down the left and the numbers across the top, they show how many points you are away from winning. So if we were playing a five point match and I had zero points and you had three points, then I look at the cross section between five and two and I can see at that score, my chances of winning the whole match are only 25.6%. And we can do this for any score within the match. If we were playing a longer match and I was seven away and you were three away, I would have 23.79% and so on. So this tells us our percentage, our likelihood of winning the match at different scores. And this is very useful to know when we're making cube decisions, which we will look at later. Now, match equities remain the same depending on what match score you are. They are concrete, fixed, and they don't change. However, game winning chances are different and they constantly fluctuate within the match depending on what you and your opponent rolls. So when we start an individual game within a match then we both for that game have 50% winning chances because neither of us have rolled yet. However after the first roll then that would change who has the advantage, who is most likely to win. So if I started the game with the best opening roll at 3-1, XG tells us that my game winning chances have risen from 50 to 60% if I make the bar point, if I make the five point with a 3-1. So that's a 10% increase from the best move. If I made the four point with an opening 4-2, my game winning chances would rise by 9%, would go up to 59. So not quite as good as the best move, but the second best move still yields an increase of 9%. Now, if instead of making a five point with the opening 3-1, I were to do something unorthodox, like play 24 to 23, 13, 10, then my game winning chances would only go up by 6% to 56. And that's simply because making the five point with a 3-1 is much better than any other alternative plays. I'm getting more equity in that game. I'm having more of an advantage. Now, for cube decisions, we need roughly 25% game winning chances and again this number changes depending on the match score whether you're ahead or whether you're behind your take point goes up and down now when we're in the middle of a game it's very hard to estimate exactly what our game winning chances are but one way of doing this is to look at reference positions and remember the reference positions and then you will recognize them over the board. So for example, if I was playing an ace point holding game 
and had a closed board with a little bit of timing, I would still have about 10 to 12 percent winning chances by holding the ace point. So if that position came up in an end game, then I would know where I was roughly in terms of game winning chances. Match equities remain the same for match scores for match winning chances as I showed you on the table, but in games they fluctuate. Now one thing I want to introduce you to is Neil's numbers. Again, this was created by Neil Kazaros and this is a shorthand for remembering the match equity table. Now the original one I showed you on XG is it's extremely difficult uh, to remember dozens and dozens of percentages at different match scores. So Neil's numbers here is a way to help us calculate our match winning percentage at different scores. And this is how it works. So let me explain it to you. So here we have two rows of numbers. Now the first row of numbers tells you the trailer's points away from winning. So am I three away from winning the match, four away from winning the match, five away and, and so on. And underneath that, we have the corresponding Neil's number. So if I was three away from winning the match, Neil's number for that would be 10. So I'm going to show you some examples of how we can apply this. Now, let's say we are at this score, three away, eight away. Now, first thing we need to do is work out our difference. Now, the difference in our scores is five points. The difference between three and eight is five. Then I need to find the corresponding Neil's number for the trailer. So the trailer has eight points. So we look at the first row of numbers below. And underneath that eight, you will see there's a six, which is the Neil's number. So then we multiply the difference in score by the Neil's number. So that's six by five. And we always add 50%. Now that would tell us that the match winning chances is 80% for the leader and 20% for the trailer. A three away, eight away, 80% match winning chances for the leader and 20% for the trailer. And by consulting the match equity table at eight away, three away, it is 80%. So Neil's numbers is a pretty accurate way of remembering the match equity table. Let's have another go doing it. If a score was two away, four away, I am two away, you are four away. The difference in our scores is two points. The four away trailer, Neil's number is nine. Below, you can see nine is beneath four. Multiply two by nine plus 50%. The match winning chances for the leader is 68% and the match equity table at two away, four away is 67%. So again, very close, very accurate. You can see on the bottom row that there are some numbers that are missing. And in those cases, we have to make a sensible calculation, an estimation. Now, if I am two away and you are nine away, the difference in our scores is seven. For seven away trailer, Neil's number, we can estimate as around 6.5 because it's between seven and six. We multiply seven by 6.5 plus 50% and that gives match winning chances of 95.5% for the leader at this score. Now the match equity table shows it to be 91%. So it's off by about 4.5%, but that's because we are making an estimation here. When the Neil's number is given, then as we saw before, it's very accurate, the information. Also, the low numbers, we again have to estimate because they are not on the rows given. So if I am two away and you are one away, the difference in our scores is one point 
we can estimate towards the left that Neil's number would probably be around 12. We multiply one by 12 plus 50% and the match winning chances would be 62%. Match equity table shows two away, one away to be 67. So again, it's an estimation, but it's close enough. And that makes a difference because unless you're Einstein, you're never going to remember dozens and dozens of percentages. Neil's numbers, you can just remember 3 and 10, 8 and 6, 11 and 5, and then make these quick calculations over the board. And that will help you uh, move from an intermediate to an advanced or expert player. Understanding match equity is a step up. It's much more advanced than Pratt, position, race and threat. And it will really help you make the right decisions in loss and gain of equity, take pass cube decisions. So I hope you found this useful. Um, please uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, watch it again. It's complicated mathematical stuff, but it will go in through repeated uh, studying. So good luck on your backgammon journey. All the best. Thank you very much.